Boys are back. The boys are back in town. Like I was telling these guys a little bit earlier, I had LASIK eye surgery two days ago. So, oh, actually, time's up. Can actually take him off. So, uh, boys are back in town. Yeah. Uh, we got David Big D three Youngs on the bottom. Ooh, Derek, do you want to be on the bottom? Yeah, I'd like to bet last. David's year. always on bottom. Come on, I'd like to bet last. So we got Jared on the bottom. Like Big Bet Barter above him. Matt Hokinson, always loud above him. <laughs> 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 above him and then david big d3 young's on the top i'm your host ike so we got feature match of the week Jeannie bouchard the canadian ranked 902 coming back from injury versus nadia podoroska so the argentine what do you guys think about this matchup see si, see si, oh. muy intrigued muy intrigued uh, oh yeah i i think it's awesome to see Jeannie back in the courts i mean um you know people forget that you know, back in her early career, I mean, she was, I believe she got to number five in the world, uh, made a Wimbledon semifinal. Um, and she's just been kind of out of the game for the past few years. And then she had the injury stuff. You know, it's good to see her back. And I, I, I don't think she gets enough credit for how good of a tennis player she, she really is. And I hope that she can come back and start to make these main, you know, take these steps to making main draws and grand slams again. Right. I feel like Jeannie Bouchard is pretty well known. But Nadia Podoroska is not as well known. So we're going to bring in our Argentine correspondent. We got Federico Fiorda. Fedi, what, what can you tell us about Nadia? Is it Podoroska? Is that how you pronounce it? Right. Yeah, Nadia Podoroska. Got to see more of her when she made the semis of Roland Garros, I think, a couple of years ago. Uh, struck me a lot, her game. She has like a flat forehand grip, big serve, nice touch, aggressive game, likes a serve and drop shot. So that's... Pretty unique to see, especially coming from an Argentine who just grinds and grinds and grinds to dust. So I really like her game style. She beat the fourth seed in this tournament, which he lost, she lost uh, two weeks ago. So it seems like she's uh, she's showing some good level lately. Is she like pretty well known in Argentina? Like, is she like one of the top female players? She definitely became more known uh, that one year. I think it was 2020 and 2021. She had a couple of good wins, especially that run she lost to Sviatek in semis. One last thing. Do you have any like facts about Argentina that uh, our audience would want to know? Any, any out of the ordinary things that you'd want to bring up? Tennis wise? Tennis wise or just about the country? I would say 99% of the tournaments, not for saying every tournament is played on clay, red clay. We, I've barely seen any like hard courts growing up. I think the first one that I saw, like a true, true hard court was at this place down south in Patagonia. You have to play indoors. And then the second time I've seen an actual hard court was in America. Because then, since we don't really use those, you see the typical asphalt-looking court, like, you know, the ones they have in Europe, too. Right. Thank you, Fetty. I appreciate you coming. Thanks, Fetty. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Fetty. I looked at the rankings, and, and I was like, what the fuck are we doing? And then I looked, <laughs> and then I read, and I saw Jeannie Bouchard, and I was like, okay. Intrigued. <laughs> uh, Why, is she your favorite player or something, Carter? Something like that. I mean... Probably second favorite after uh, pre pre uh, Palop. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, oh, wait, man. wait, pre pre op for her nose. She just got a nose job. Shut up. No, <laughs> I'm 100 percent serious. 100. percent She was has, having you know, nasal congestion. You know what I? You know what I mean. Well, uh, I, I don't know. I had to clarify. It was super recent news. It was just this past weekend. Dang. Did she get punched in the face or something? No, she's just been having trouble breathing, which is crazy because she won in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, granted, she did get bounced pretty early in Cincy. You could tell she was out of gas. She won one round versus Potapova. But anyways. Can we just appreciate David fucking paying no attention to what's happening right now? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm listening, but I'm, I'm, not right 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 I'm right very right stoic today. today. Is there any chance David has watched the video thus far? If it is, he's listening to the rules, baby. Let's go over the rules of betting. The boys will put $10, $20, or $30 on the bet of their choice. All types of bets welcome. And the winner at the end of the year wins the 69 Chevy. The levy must be dry in order to win. Let's get into the bets. Let's get into the betting for the week. 
I'm going to take the under on total games after Fetty's analysis and what I was thinking before. I'm like, Jeannie Bouchard misses a lot of balls. She also hits really big. So I think matches go quicker. They normally are two sets. Of the last 10 matches for Jeannie Bouchard, nine of them have hit the under on total games. So I'm going to hit the under on total games. I think because Fetty said Podoroska plays quick, plays big, I think this is going to be a lopsided match. I think the it's going to be like a 6-4, 6-3 type of match. I'm not sure who's going to win. I think Podoroska might actually win this match just because she's been playing a lot more tennis than Bouchard. So I'm going to take her 6-4, 6-3, but I'm going to take the under on total games at minus 120. I'm going to put 30 bucks on it. So 30 bucks to win 25-20. David Big D3 Youngs. Yeah, I mean, I think I look at these two players. I think you've got an up-and-comer. You've got a staple. Bouchard was on part of my take. Uh, I want to say a month ago, two months ago. Um, And I I think this is a pretty even uh, split right here. But I got to go with Bouchard. She's Canadian. Who doesn't like a good Canadian? Uh, She's got Jack Bauer on her side of the graphic. I mean, that's... That's inevitable right there. American hero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say American hero, Canadian hero. They touch borders. That's a gimme right there. Uh, let's go uh, Bouchard wins in three, but let's take the over on games. Um, let's go uh, three and a half over, and I'll put 40 bucks on it, and I'll put 40 bucks on it, and I'll put 40 bucks on it. And I'll put 40 bucks on it. And I'll put 40 bucks on it. 30 bucks on it? <laughs> Is that what you said? Do you want to put 30 on it, 20 or 10? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did you say $40? So reason why we're all laughing is David's done this before. The rules are 10 20 or $30. And David just said 40 We're all like, yo, we're in, we're in week 29. Every single video, I put the rules in there. Every... Has David not watched any videos? <laughs> Has he not watched any videos? I literally try to make the rules different, like a different thing every single week. They're sometimes super stupid. Like, how do you not remember those? I'm so confident that I'm going to put 40 bucks on it. Fuck <laughs> <Or> you. <laughs> Blatant disregard for the rules going on here. <laughs> the levy is not <laughs> guy comes in here. You in not car. Be serious, right? <laughs> so icing on the cake for this whole situation is David goes on and defends that he did not say 40. No, David, you said 40. Commissioner says you said 40. And I'll put 40 bucks on it. And I'll put 40 bucks on it. And I'll put 40 bucks on it. No, I said 30. Oh, I heard 30. I have this fucking recorded. I swear you said 40. You're going to have to. No, I said 30. I Oh, I was like, I didn't know we could fucking up our bets to $40 this week. Oh, yeah, I'll take 90 bucks. No, I, I <laughs> swear to God, I said 30. 30, um, 30, 30. Oh. I think Dave said 40. We're going to have to run that back. <laughs> yeah, run it back. I heard 40 as well. No, run it by the commissioner. He'll agree with me. Is that a penalty? No, I said 30. I <laughs> swear to God. I swear all right, all right. To God. Well, I don't know if I'd do that if I were you. 30 to win 28.50 for David. Eric P, always micro bets. Is that going to be uh, the continuing trend this week? You know, I kind of like the uh, formula that we cooked up last week where we took a heavily favored bet and put a little bit more money on it. Um, Am I correct in saying that Jeannie Bouchard won Wimbledon? She got second in Wimbledon. Yeah, I was going to correct that earlier, but she got second uh, in Wimbledon. I think that is the last time I watched her play in that match. Um, I think she'll probably lose, but I know that she has the potential to be sort of a flash in the pan type of situation and um, maybe win out a lopsided set. Um, I'm going to shift that line. To the left, all the way, and I'm gonna put a 30 spot on it. And you're gonna hit the under. Hit the under, yeah. Minus 305. All right, minus 305, and you're putting 30 on it. Yep. All right, 30 bucks to win 990. I don't mind that as much, just because I do think it is uh, gonna hit the under. And 
you're you're winning 10 bucks i mean creeping your way that's right uh, matt what do you got for this week uh yeah a little bit different strategy my 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 strategy of uh of betting the sets finally hit on the us open final with Alcaraz. so um i think it's time to put that strategy to bed i i think genie's gonna come back i i I think she's going to start to get her career going again. So I'm going to take Jeannie money line. And I'm going to put 20 bucks on it. I, I just think, you know, seeing somebody who had so much success on the tour and was just decimated by injuries. Um, I, I think she's going to get it done against this up and comer. I think her name just carries a lot of weight. And I could see an upcoming player maybe getting slightly intimidated. I don't know. I think she finds a way to get it done. So I, I don't know sets because I, I don't really bet sets anymore. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, money line Bouchard. I was gonna ask that. So last week you hit an eighty-two dollar bet in the U.S. Open final. The pressure was there, and you you delivered. So thirty dollar bets. You've had thirty dollar bets for probably the last what 10, 12 weeks? Something. Ridiculous. Yeah, about three months. Yeah, and I think you know it was like the putting analogy I made the other week. You know, I kept hitting that putt, and I kept hitting that putt. I knew it was gonna hit once. And it hit. And so am I going to make that putt back to back times? Probably not. And so now it's time to really buckle down. Um, I'm, I'm minus 182. So, I mean, realistically, if I can, you know, start to get in the swing of things, I can at least make it interesting. Interesting strategy with a week winding down. Uh, 20 bucks to win 2120. Big bet barter. Haven't seen you in a couple weeks. What's, uh, what's your bet for the week? All right. I, uh, I agree with your thesis. Uh, I think there's a, a good chance that there's it's going to be a pretty quick match. Um, I'm actually going to do the opposite of Eric. I'm going to move the line to the right and I'm going to take the under on games, but uh, under 19.5. I really want to go for Bouchard, but I think, uh, I think she's probably going to try to win a lot of short points. The fitness might not be there. So we got 30 bucks to win 40, 50 for that bet. Jared, last but not least leader of the league. You've had seven total weeks at number one. And they've been consecutive weeks, if I'm not mistaken. How are you feeling? Uh, what's your bet for the week? It's been quite a ride. Uh, if you look from week 21 on, uh, just a nice little consistent pace up the leaderboard with the money. Uh, but I got to say, this is the first week that I'm actually, in, first week in a few weeks, probably about a month, where I'm actually kind of sweating a little bit about having potentially, you know, if I take a loss, I jump back out of that first place spot. So um, I... The, the problem is that I really like Carter's bet. I, I didn't want to like it that much, but I think that that's a really smart play and that's some money that could easily uh, put him right into that conversation. So what I was looking at initially is I was just going to kind of go with a flyer pick and take the over on 0.5 tiebreakers um, just because it's plus 280 and it's I think that's 10 bucks to, to you know, could still win a solid amount. But I don't love that bet. And I think that with the chance that Carter's hits, uh, plus I want to see my own streak continue, I think I'm going to play it a little bit safer. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take the line. I am going to move it a little bit, uh, not as far left as Eric did, but I'm going to move it to uh, 23 and a half games, and I'm going to take the under on that, and I'm going to put 20 bucks down on that at minus 180. All right. That's 11, 20. Uh, if you win that bet. So let's quickly go over the rankings. So Jared's number one, Carter two, Eric three, myself four. David's been just crawling back, has won four $25 bets in a row, which is the first time in league history that that has been done. The boys have been doing pretty <laughs> darn good. The last like five, six weeks, we've been killing it.